Welcome to today's KPC Daily Devotional. I'd like to read from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 6, verse 46. Jesus said, Why do you call me Lord, Lord, and do not do what I tell you? I'd like to share today from my collection, According to Barclay, Reflections on Life in the Human Pack, a devotional entitled The Squirrel in the Road. Barclay, car, stop! I barked and I held my breath. Would he? When I began training my schnauzer Barclay, I didn't want to teach him cute but useless tricks. I wanted to teach him basic life skills, things a puppy would need to know in a world shaped by humans. Things like food, thirsty, hungry, walk. He picked up immediately. He learned to roll over by verbal command and by hand signal so we could hunt fleas. Come, go, up, down, over, through became part of his repertoire. At street curb, it was wait, cross, and we would watch out for car. In his prime, Barclay could recognize and understand over 100 words and commands. Probably the hardest one to teach him was stop. In time, I could walk Barkley off-leash, guiding him by a series of low whistles and hand gestures. We would walk around the block, checking out the neighborhood scents. Every day or two, we'd see a squirrel or rabbit, two words that Barkley understood well. He would tear off, chasing it up a tree or into a thicket, and trot back, quite pleased with himself. Barkley loves chasing squirrels. Never caught one, even when one doubled back right between his legs. And as far as I can tell, he's never really wanted to catch one. He ran after one once that was lame and ran with a limp. So Barkley slowed down so it could get to the tree just a second before he did. True story. It wasn't the catching. It was the chase. Squirrel chasing was usually fairly safe. There wasn't much traffic on our residential street. The squirrels and rabbits would hightail it to the nearest tree or pole or thick brush, always away from the road, except once. The squirrel was hunting nuts at the base of an oak tree up in a neighbor's front yard. Barkley saw it and took off like a rocket. The squirrel saw him too and took off toward a telephone pole between the sidewalk and the road. It waited a moment on the side of the pole and, with Barkley in hot pursuit, leapt into the road and dashed across to the other side just a few feet ahead of an oncoming car. It's the most devilish thing I've ever seen a squirrel do. I have concluded it must have been a horned squirrel. I knew in a flash that Barkley, intent upon the chase, would probably not notice the car, and the car would not have time to break. Barkley, car, stop, I yelled, and hoped that he would hear me, and more importantly, that he would obey. Dogs have the mental ability of Oh, about a four-year-old human pup, which actually covers a lot of essential life and social skills. But Barclay cannot possibly understand this complicated technological world that humans have created. He does well to understand our world of language as well as he does. He knows all about reaction lag time, but does not grasp steel internal combustion, tonnage, momentum. He does not know the danger he is in. 
In a world far too complex for him to understand, Barclay needs a master. As Barclay's master, it's my job to teach him to listen and understand what I tell him. It is my job to provide for his basic creaturely needs, water, food, outside time, exercise, shelter, hygiene, and safety. It's my job to keep an eye out ahead, anticipating threats and dangers before they materialize. It's my job to understand the complexities of this world that Barclay can never understand. It is not Barclay's job to understand and anticipate all the possible dangers of this world. He can't possibly do it. It is Barclay's job simply to listen to the voice of his master. He did. I called, stop! And practically in mid-stride, Barclay stopped on the spot, balanced on two paws on the curbstone. Humans can't possibly understand the complexities of life either. Uh, any eight-year-old can program the newest techno system with ease, but can you understand your 11-year-old? Do you know how to talk with a teenager? Can you navigate the rapids of love and the storms of emotion? Can you explain to the elderly when it's time to surrender one's independence and the car keys? Can your eye penetrate the twilight of death? We're at a time when we don't even know what's going to be happening tomorrow or the day after tomorrow. The economy, geopolitical change, let alone the mysteries of the future or the meaning of life, there is much we do not understand in this world. In a complex world, humans need a master. It is the master's job to provide for your needs, to teach you what you need to know for a productive life, to keep an eye out for all the dangers that lie ahead, to help you recognize and accept your limitations, to understand what you and I can't possibly understand. It is your job simply to listen and heed even when you're dashing hell-bent after that next squirrel in the road. I wish you a blessed day ahead. Goodbye.